Hi, my name is Jeremy. Um, I'm listing my dirt bike here. Uh, more, I've been on eBay for about 10 years now, and uh, I find that the best time, best way to sell a vehicle or a motorcycle or an ATV or anything like this is to do a video of it so that you can see it as if you were kind of here in person since you are purchasing out of state, and I know that can kind of be an into, uh, intimidating experience. So um, I have very good feedback. As you can see, a uh, majority of my items are Jeep parts. Well, all of them are because that's what I do for a living. I own a Jeep shop here in uh, Denver. Uh, we sell Wrangler parts, so if you need those, give me a call. Uh, but on this note, this bike, it's a 2006 uh, dirt bike. Um, I bought it from a buddy of mine uh, who basically had as a backup bike. Um, it's only been used for trail riding, so it's set up for that way. Um, it's uh, jetted for elevation here in Denver, so if it's going to go down to sea level, depending on what you're going to be using it for, you may want to have it rejetted. Um, and then I uh, kept the rear sprocket the same, but I did change the front sprocket. I might still have the stock one, but it's a little bit more torquey, so you can kind of lug it along in first gear, which is really what I was using it for, um, which is trail riding. I never, it's never seen a track. It's never been raced. Um, and basically, I'm just going to do a walk around it, and then uh, I'll put the camera down, I'll fire it up, um, and whatnot. So it's been a great bike. It's been one of the best bikes I've ever owned. I've owned several dirt bikes. I've had CRFs, I've had uh, uh, YZ, um, or this is YZ, I've had uh, WRs and uh, 426, I mean you name it, I've had it. So, um, And I can honestly tell you that this bike, uh, and you will see it when you get it, it fires on, even if it's been sitting for a few weeks, it'll fire on the second or third kick, and if it's been running all day, you can usually get it to fire on the first kick, so without doing anything other than using the choke on it. So, uh, It is a 2006, it is a Yamaha YZ450, and again, it is almost all stock except for the sprocket. Um, it's the white and black edition, and the tires are okay on it. The tires are actually pretty good. They're still knobby. They're a little dry. I haven't. It hasn't had a lot of use out of it uh, in the time I've owned it. Um, I've probably had it on maybe four weekend, good weekend trips, and normally we ride out in Moab, um, so that's that kind of uh, trail riding. Um, a little bit on the western slope here in Colorado, but uh, other than that, it's in really good shape. Um, I've never had it, uh, I've never actually laid it down per se. Uh, we've leaned it up against trees and, and whatnot like that, um, but not like uh, like as, as far as like a crash is concerned. Uh, nothing like that. Um, I learned very young that it was much, much better and safer to stay upright than it was uh, to uh, fall down on one of these things. So, um, But anyway, so let me go over it. I'm going to go up to every single thing that I see on it just so you know exactly what you're going to be getting, and uh, including scuff. Some of you may be like, oh, it's going to be you know, it's too much detail, but trust me, uh, if you've done this as long as I have, most people like a lot of detail on these things. So uh, let's just go over the wheel here. Uh, there's no deep gouges in this rim. Um, all the spokes are straight. As you can see, the guard here, the fork guard, is uh, a little scratched up, definitely going through some trees there, uh, but the actual bearing uh, and wheel assembly is in good shape. Um, the forks do not seem, um, they might leak a little bit, but uh, from like normal normal kind of uh, wear, but they, they feel like they're good. I wouldn't say they need to be um, replaced, uh, maybe an adjustment or anything like that. It might be in order. Um, following it up, the fender definitely got some scratches on it, no breaks or cracks. And then the number plate here um, has got a, uh, a hole in it here. Um, but uh, other than that, that's in good shape. And then it's got the bark busters, they're metal uh, moose um, bark busters, and just to kind of protect your hands in the trees. Um, both uh, this brake here um, and then the clutch lever here have been bent out. Just It's easier for me to grab, but I do have a new set of clutch and brake handles that I will include with it. And uh, it is missing a screw for the fuel tank, and it was in there last time I wrote it, so I probably, I usually double check everything, because sometimes that stuff does get loose and vibrates out, but um, other than that, looking at the engine, you can see it's actually really clean, um, and I actually didn't detail it or anything, this is pretty much the way it uh, came back after my last ride in Moab, uh, and there's no cracks on any of the casing anywhere, um, it does have a nice metal hard skid, yeah, Sorry, my sunglasses dropped. Um, skip plate on it. And then going up, pipes in good shape. Um, all this. There's some scratches again on the fender. There's definitely some scratches on it. 
um, but no, nothing that's going to be necessarily needed to replace. One thing I probably would do is put a new chain on it. Uh, chain seems a little sloppy. I've tightened it a little bit, but it kind of seems like it's about out, although it doesn't look like it. It just when I write it, it's um, a little loose. So, um, Sprockets are in good shape. Plenty of teeth left on those. No teeth broken off. Um, and I try to keep the chain and whatnot oiled. It has had an oil change this year, and there's only one ride on it since that oil change, so I wouldn't say it's in need for one of those. And we always run good Yama Lube in them, so. Um, this seat does have a, uh, a fender. Um, this, this rear fender here is missing or is broke. The mount back here uh, is broke, so you can kind of see it there. Um, one of those things I always thought, oh, I'll fix it, fix it. I actually got it from my buddy like that a long time ago, but... I uh, just never got around to it. It doesn't affect it, so it is what it is, kind of thing. But, um, but I try to keep up on it for the most part on everything else. Uh, brakes are in good shape. Um, grips are a little worn, and uh, seats in good shape. No tears on the seat or anything. And then going th through this side again, the top of the cylinder is in great shape, um, and uh, and that. So. Um, as far as the valves being adjusted, I cannot uh, attest that they've been done. I'm assuming they probably have, and my buddy, because he's pretty good about stuff like that. I haven't had it long enough to put many hours on it or have, um, it starts really easily. And on my old bike, that was kind of a, a noticeable difference. When we need to adjust the valves, it wouldn't want to fire up. And this thing always fires up, so just haven't really uh, had the desire or need to go down and do that. So the tires are good. There's a couple knobs missing on them on the sides. Um, I'd say, depending on who you are, uh, I personally ride on stuff like this, so you might be somebody like myself, or you might want to go out and get a new set of tires um, and use these as spares. They don't leak at all, they hold air, and there's no cracks in the radiator or anything like that. Um, if it uh, YZ450s, they kind of are meant to, to get some air flowing through there, so I do notice on the trails, especially if I'm uh, if I'm um, first gearing it a lot up hills or whatnot, especially on Moab when it's super hot out, it will overflow a little bit of the coolant out of it. Um, but uh, again, even my WR did that, and that was actually made for more trail riding. So uh, when it happens, I just make sure that I open it up a little bit, and, uh, and that goes away right away. So um, I'm going to attempt to fire this thing up and somehow put my camera um, somewhere. So, if you can give me a second here, I'm going to set it, see if I can put it here, you're probably only going to see me in this photo, or video, until I grab the, grab it again, but you can see exactly the length of time it takes to start it and whatnot. So, it's actually been sitting for um, probably about three weeks, um, and I just wanted you to see exactly um, how she fires up when she's extremely cold, which is what she is right now. So I'm going to lower my jack here. Put her down on the ground somewhere. Okay. I went to church today, so I'm not really going to tire to do this, but I should be able. This one, uh, I had a 426, and boy, that thing was a freaking pain in the butt to start that thing. My buddy, who weighs about 300 pounds, he even had a hard time kicking that thing over. But this thing's super easy to start and kick, um, whatnot on it. So I don't know the hours on it. It doesn't have an odometer. Like I said, I've had it, and I've probably only had it out four times each summer, um, and I've had it for about three years. And then, and he really didn't. I mean, I got this bike pretty immaculate. It had some scratches on it, but he used it as a backup bike to when he was working on his other bike. Uh, he would have something to ride or something went down or whatnot. So they were fortunate enough to have um, money to have backup bikes, and I usually fortunate enough just to have a bike. So anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and fire her up. Uh, choke is down here at the carb. Um, that, might, that might surprise me. This thing has been so warm here in Denver, it's really not cold out.
this is idling right now, but it is have a choke on. So uh, give it a little gas. Here. Um, if you have any questions about it, please feel free to give me a call. My cell phone is 720-987-8772. Again, that's 720-987-8772. Um, I don't uh, I don't have a reserve on it. I, I'm pretty confident that it is it's worth what it's worth. And uh, yeah, I've seen them on Craigslist and stuff. And usually, I they they go for like in this kind of shape. I think this bike is probably worth you know, between twenty five hundred and three just because it doesn't have a lot of use on it and uh just as I said services I've always had oil changes and done that kind of stuff on them so uh but it is no reserve and I'm starting it off at two hundred bucks so uh may the best man win or woman and um I do shipping. I'd be happy to ship it. Um I ship so many G parts in bulk, some of these big tubs and stuff, uh that it's fairly easy for me to ship something in. Probably on a bike, you're looking at a couple hundred bucks to get it pretty much anywhere in the U.S. So, or you're more than welcome to come locally and pick it up as well. Um, I, I asked for a $200 deposit within 48 hours of the auction ending, and then the rest of it you can, uh, if you're picking it up in person, pay in cash, or uh, you can send me a cashier's check, or some sort of certified funds. Um, and I think that's about it. So, again, my name's Jeremy. I feel free to hope you uh, feel free to call me, and I hope you've enjoyed my video.